I'm going to show you the best way that you can create a dry storage for your 3D printing filaments so that they don't absorb moisture from the air so that you get quality prints throughout the entire length of your roll. I've been 3D printing for over 10 years now and I've managed to bring quite a few filaments back from the dead uh, using this as well as stave off a lot of failed prints. Hopefully these tips can help you not fall in the same mistakes that I made. When it comes to short-term storage, in the back of my 3D printer here, I've got a quick little dry box. And inside this dry box, it has a humidity sensor. I can lift up from the top. I've got a whole bunch of silica pallets. And then these are sitting on top of, these are sitting on top of some aluminum axles here that are resting in ball bearings. So you end up with some nice smooth movement. So not only is it a dry box, it's also a nice smooth roller for my print. For longer term storage, I've used a very large clear tote bin here that I've just taken some silicone caulking that I've beaded around the top here so that I made my own airtight seal. In the bottom, I have a bunch more of the silica gel packets and then you can just simply rest your filament inside. And this ends up being a really nice watertight bin so that you don't really run away with those humidity issues. Other nice things about these silica packets, you can actually cut them open, you can bake them at 100 degrees Celsius for about half an hour. You can boil the moisture out of these things and you can reuse them. So a lot of people don't know that, but those are actually reusable. Hopefully you found those filament storage tips useful and best of luck printing in some humid environments.